After an equation has been created, you may wish to edit it in some way, or perhaps even delete it. To edit an existing equation, simply double-click it, and the equation will open in the window. If you wish to make changes to the equation, you can click at the spot where you wish to make a change. For example, if we wish to change that Y to a Z, we can click after the Y, press the backspace key, which I just did, and then type the new characters, in this case a Z. If we wish to replace the T with a W, I click just after the T, I'm pressing the backspace key which deletes the T, and I am now typing a W. So by clicking the mouse at the appropriate point, we can move around the equation and edit it in the way we want. It is possible that you do not want the exact spacing that appears in the equation. Perhaps you would like to add extra spacing between characters, or perhaps you would like to have less spacing than appears between characters. For example, perhaps you would like to have extra space between the 2, the Z, and the 9. To do that, you can insert the insertion point between the 2 and the Z, and then from the Spaces and Ellipsis palette, you can pick one of these spaces. This is a zero space, this is a one-point space, this is a thin space, a thick space, or an M space. We will insert an M space between those characters. Notice the amount of space that we have now between the 2 and the Z. Perhaps we wish to insert a different amount of space between the Z and the 9. We can go to this spaces temp palette and in this case, we will pick a fixed space to appear between those characters. And you'll see the amount of space that place between the characters. Maybe we would like less space between some characters. Maybe we would like there to be less space between the X and the minus, and the minus and the 6. We can insert our insertion point between the X and the minus, go to spaces and ellipses, and pick zero space between those two characters. Notice how that brings the minus sign very close to the, the X. We can do the same thing here, select zero space, and we have removed any extraneous space between those symbols. There are keyboard characters that will apply most of this spacing refer to the course notes on the web page to find out about these but they are a zero space can be done with a shift spacebar one point control alt spacebar thin space control spacebar and so on those are documented on the course notes when you have finished editing the equation you can either exit and return to document or if you sus suspect that you are going to be editing this equation again, simply press Select Update from the File menu. You will be returned to the document, but the equation editor will stay available, which makes it quicker to edit the equation again another time. We can simply close it, and our equation has been updated in our document. Up to this point, in creating and modifying our equations. We have primarily been using the symbol palettes and the template palettes. However, that can be time consuming when you're entering an equation to constantly take your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse to access the palettes. Many people prefer to do more work with the keyboard and the equation editor does have many keyboard shortcuts. You can read about these keyboard shortcuts in the course notes that are on the web, or you can learn all about them for yourself by opening the equation editor, going to help and picking equation editor topics, then under find 
if you look for keyboard and then scroll down through all of the topics about the keyboard in the equation editor and you will find this one called keyboard guide for equation editor. We will display that and you will notice that there are help documents describing how to use the, equa the keyboard in the equation editor to add styles to the equation, to insert symbols in an equation, to insert templates in an equation. For example, if we look at this one on inserting symbols in an equation using keys, we find that there are a variety of shortcuts for many of the commonly used symbols. For example, to insert an infinity symbol into an equation, you press Control K and a vertical bar. And there are many, many such keyboard shortcuts. And as you enter equations, you may find it will speed up your work if you become familiar with some of these keyboard shortcuts. You may discover that you no longer need a particular equation in your document and you wish to remove it. You can do this simply by clicking on the equation to select it. Notice the border that now appears around the equation and you can remove that equation by simply pressing the delete key on your keyboard and the equation is gone. I press the delete key, the equation disappeared.